Right then, here we go. A first game of DBN using the Epic Napoleonic um, miniatures um, <clears throat> on a 60mm frontage basis. Um, so because DBN is normally 40mm frontage, I've made the table correspondingly larger. So it's still only a three foot by three foot table um, laid up. This looks like, you know, quite a few terrain features on it. Um, so we're up in the ground scale slightly. So we're using, uh, you see, I'm, I'm my little measuring stick there marked up in two inch sections. Um, so each section is a hundred paces um, in DBN terms. Um, <clears throat> the French, the light is not very good in here, but the French are formed up in sort of two large blocks. Um, skirmishes in front, um, heavy cavalry up to, on the left flank, um, light cavalry and uh, horse artillery over on the right flank. Um, <clears throat> and the British are formed up in, in lines of brigades. So I'm kind of thinking in terms of each base representing a, a unit. I'm sorry about the background there, it's a bit, a bit untidy. Um, but yeah, if I could just go in and have a look along the lines, you can see two light infantry units in front, and then there are like um, four brigades of infantry. They are actually Dutch Belgians there, rifles, um, heavy cavalry out on the flank. Um, so they're moving as formations. Um, each of those, each of the, each of those brigades, um, are moving as formations in DBN terms. Um, commander in the centre there, uh, where his command radius is. Uh, Sufficient to be able to command all of these units, um, so they're all in command. Um, I, that's um, a little battle scale buildings, lovely buildings from Steve Clay. Um, not nearly a fortification, so um, you know it's not too impossible to to, to take. A um, little bit of uh, Jarvis, not uh, Jarvis um, fine grass, uh, as recommended by Steve. Very good for representing ivy and stuff on buildings. Yeah, here it's just a, a form of placed underneath the DB, uh, the Geek Villa mats. Trees, I have to mention me trees. So I got these off of eBay, really cheap. I think four pound for five of those little trees. I just put them on little bases. Some of the nicest I've seen actually. I've brought loads and I've got some more out there. Um, and aside from that, um, yeah, the, the river is by um, SNA Scenics. I absolutely love that river, which is why there's a little bit on there actually. Um, sorry if this is jumping about a bit, I'm just trying to do a very quick one before I play my game, um, showing what's what. And that's it, there's my little dice. I actually painted those to match the um, match the measuring stick. So everything kind of matches up. And finally, just one little look along the British line. I think I've got about 400 of these painted so far. Um, and I'm never going to use them for big battles on big tables. I, I'm just, you know, that just doesn't appeal to me anymore these days. Um, which is why I'm, I'm sticking with DBN. They're a very nice set of rules, give a good fun game. Lots of dice offs. Um, and, uh, you know, you can play for a game of DBN in an hour, even like this, 18 points. Hour and a half, maybe. Um, but there's so much you can do. And normally you would start a game of DBN with, with, by dicing to see which side, um, who's the attacker, who's the defender, which side you attack from the table, uh, and then with the attacker just makes the first die roll. It always starts with an activation roll. Simple six-sided dice, one to six, that's your activations. Um, I think you get extra in the first, the first move. Uh, you get extra if you've got a high-quality general, um, things like that. But they are... They are simple when you first look at them, but there's an awful lot of gaming in them. Um, it takes a long time to become a, a quite an accomplished DBN player. Uh, they're fun. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. They're a fun set of rules, and that just does me these days. So, um, right, I don't want to keep this over long, and I have chatted away a bit. I'm just going to enjoy myself now for a couple of hours. Um, I've got a quiet house, apart from the dog that keeps barking. Um, I'm going to join myself now for a couple of hours playing through this game and uh, I might take a couple of stills as things progress but that's about it. I hope you enjoy this little video, a little introduction to DBN and if you want to know more about the rules um, it's worth looking up on YouTube, DBN Wargaming. There's tons of um, videos in there including um, some really good tutorials um, by the author Alex. Um, and uh, yeah, right, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. And uh, 
Yeah. Let's see how we get on. Cheers.